Hey guys, it's Kevin at Monticello Bank and today we're going to learn how to write a check. You may or may not have a bank account currently, you know really how a bank account works. If you don't, don't worry, you're probably going to get familiar soon, whether you enter the workforce and your employer makes you set up a bank account for your payroll check to be direct deposited, or if you go to college and have um, your financial aid or student loans direct deposited. So once you have an account set up, how do you access your money? The way that you're probably most familiar with is a debit card. Um, you can also stop by a local branch, you can go to an ATM, you can do online banking, online shopping. There are a whole bunch of different ways that you can access your money, but the one we're going to focus on today is checks and check writing. So with all these other ways to get to your money, why do you need to know how to write a check? Well, whenever you graduate or move out on your own, whenever you rent somewhere uh, before you're able to buy, a lot of landlords don't accept cash or electronic payment, so you're going to have to know how to write a check. That way you can pay your rent. A lot of local utilities, or maybe your water, or TV, they don't accept those other type of payments either to where you'll have to pay with the check. So there are ways still with everything else that you're going to have to write a check for. So hopefully in these next couple of videos, you'll learn how to write a check and how to keep track of that with the check register. Okay, so here's an example of a check. In the top left corner, you'll notice it has the bank name. Along the bottom of the check is important account information. The first one is the bank routing number. That way, whenever you give it to somebody, they know who to, what bank to charge it to. The second number is your bank account number. That way, when we receive it at the bank, we know what account and where to pull the money from. And then the last number is your check number, which you'll see is also at the top right corner. That way, whenever we receive it, we know how to document it on your account. So to write a check, the first thing that you'll need to do is put the date. So this check that we're filling out is for today. And pay to the order of is who the check is to. So for example, we're going to pay Harlan County Apartments because we're going to use this for rent. So how much was our rent this month? You'll write that out in number form, $450. Below that, you also have to write it out in word form. And it's important that when you're writing, that you write legibly. That way, whenever we receive it at the bank, we know the correct amount to charge. So once you do $450, don't forget to put 00, zero over 100, or if it was 50 cents, put 50 over 100 and draw a line out to the end so nobody can alter the amount so you get charged the right amount. It's also important in the memo line to put why you made the check out. So for this one we're paying our rent and then once you have everything done remember put your signature. This is your endorsement. This is what authorizes us to pull the money out of your account to pay whoever we need to. Okay guys this is an example of what a check register might look like. You can see a first transaction here was on 328 and it was a deposit that was probably our payroll for $700. This left us with a balance of $700 that we could spend. The check that we just wrote, check number 1934, on March 30th was to Harlan County Apartments. That amount was for $450 if you remember for our rent. When we subtracted that from our available balance, that leaves us with $250 to spend. It's important to keep up with your register, that way you know how much money you have to spend because sometimes checks take a couple days to clear and you don't want to overdraw your account or get charged any fees. So it's very important to keep up with your balance and your check register. All right, hopefully that wasn't as bad as what you thought it would be. And I, I hope that you're a lot more comfortable in writing a check. Uh, if not, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call here at the bank. Or if you have any questions, not just about check writing, but just banking in general, um, my number here, 573-1202, and ask for Kevin Cavins, and I'd be happy to help you. Thank you.